Okay, today I'm going to be showing you what color a shadow is. So in order to understand what color a shadow is, we have to first understand color in and of itself. So for example, this poster board looks white, but white is actually not a color. White light is actually just a combination of all of the other colors of light. And all you really need to make white light is just blue light, green light, and red light. So for example, if I turn these on, and then turn off my background lights, you can see that this poster board now still appears white, even though I have three different colors of light here. See, but here's the weird thing. If I set my lights up here, and then have my white poster board down here, so look what a shadow looks like on it. You can see that there's now three different shadows. There's a yellow shadow, a magenta shadow, and a cyan shadow. And then right in the center here, there's a black shadow. So in order to understand this, let's start off with just red light. So when I have just red light here, you can see that the shadow caused by the red bulb over here is casting this length shadow here, and it's black behind it. And the background is all red. But then when I turn on the green light, now we have a yellow background because red plus green light make yellow light. And then where that dark shadow used to be, meaning there was no red light getting at this point, it's now getting filled with green light. And so you can see a green shadow there. And that's just, from, and that's just coming from the green bulb. And then you can see where this red shadow is here. If I turn off the red light, that's where the, all of the green light gets blocked. So I'll turn back on the red light. And so now you only see red in that place. And then right in the middle here, it's blocking all of the light from both bulbs, and so you see black again. Now when you turn on all three lights, all of the colors change. You have cyan, magenta, and yellow. So you can see the cyan is in the location where all of the red light is being blocked. And then you can see the magenta is in the location where all of the green light is being blocked, and the yellow is in the location where all of the blue light is being blocked. So cyan is made when you mix green plus blue light, magenta is made when you mix blue plus red light, and then yellow is made when you mix green plus red light. And then you can see there's two locations here where red and green are blocked and you get the original blue, and then there's a location here where blue and green are both blocked and you get the original red. But the shadow right in the center here is the one I'm interested in. What color is this? So now that we understand how light is made up, now we can talk about what color shadows really are. So black is technically defined as the absence of color, but what black really means in everyday life doesn't mean the absence of color, it really just means less color than what's around it. And I showed this in a previous video where I showed a black spot on a white screen technically wasn't black, it was just less white than what's around it. But in this video I want to take it even further and describe black as not only a shade of white, but actually just a shade of any color. In fact, black is just less of whatever's around it. So for example, this shadow looks black with red light, it looks black with green light, and it looks black with blue light. So you can begin to see that these black shadows are not really black at all. In fact, they're just the color of the background light around them. And you can see that clearer when I zoom in and change my ISO to brighten it a bit. So here's my paper towel here in this shadow. So when I start off with blue light, you can easily see that this paper towel looks blue. And then when I put green light on it, it definitely looks green. And then when I put red light on it, it still looks red. And then obviously when I have all the colors together, it definitely looks white in the shadow. So you can see that the shadow is just a shade of different colors. Black in and of itself, whatever black you see, is just a shade of the colors of that room. So what is the color of a shadow? Well, it's the same color as the object that's not in the shadow. So the color of this is white, and the color of this is white, but this is just less white than this. Just as in this case, the color of this is red, and the color of this is also red, so this is a red shadow. So this brings me to my next point, actually. Not only are shadows not black, but actually nothing is really black. For example, this looks black, but this isn't even black either. It's just less white than this. So, I, so for example, I have some black construction paper here, and it looks black, but that's only because there's not a lot of light shining on it. If you shine enough light on it, it will just turn white. For example, if I shine a bright flashlight on it at 32,000 lumen, and now it turns into a white paper. Hey everyone, thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you liked it, I hope you learned something. 
If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comments section. And if you haven't gone to theactionlab.com to check out my Action Lab subscription box, head over to theactionlab.com now. And if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, click the subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified when my latest video is out. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.